DH here, coming at you with another Daily Nugget today. And the Daily Nugget today for January 24th, 2021, is from Nature Meditations by Hazrat Nayak Khan. And uh, his grandson, Pierzia, actually um, is doing a class right now online. Um, I'll pop the link down in the description <clears throat> in case you want to join in. Um, every Sunday, he's doing a lesson um, based on nature meditations. I think the series started last week, and it'll probably run about six weeks, so another four more sessions, I think, um, after today. And um, so I was able to catch it today and tune in, and uh, there was it was cool. There's 600 people from the whole around the world um, on this one Zoom call, <laughs> so it was really cool uh, to experience, you know, sharing these teachings with everybody uh, from all over the world. Um, but today... I was kind of inspired by that to do something from nature meditations. And, uh, you know, the last couple of days, um, the last 24 hours, really, we've gotten a nice little dump of rain here in Southern California, <clears throat> excuse me, which, uh, many of you might know, or some of you might not know, uh, we don't get a whole lot of rain here. We get uh, rain usually around this time of year in the winter. Um, we might get dumped on for a couple of days or a good solid week. And then, uh, you know, it's kind of dry the rest of the year. So that's where we end up with a lot of wildfires and things like that. Um, but we got some beautiful rain um, over the last 24 hours. I think we're going to get a little bit more this week. Um, so I thought I would uh, share the nature meditation on rain. Send the shower of thy mercy and compassion on humanity. Send the shower of thy mercy and compassion on humanity. So, yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, there's not a whole lot of commentary that really needs to be said about this, but we are at a point in time right now where humanity can really use mercy and compassion, right? And how is, shower, how is, how is it that the beloved can shower more mercy and compassion on humanity? It's really for humanity to step up and shower more hum hu more mercy and compassion on each other. Um, it's so important, really, right now. We're in a really strange, auspicious period where, you know, there's a lot of divisiveness and a lot of uncertainty in the world. And, you know, um, we're, we're, we're very much as a country, very divided right now. And uh, we want to really work towards the one. We want to find that unity. We want to find that place where we do connect. And, you know, I have, um, you know, such a love for this path because it's a path of diversity. And, you know, we really are welcomed to come in with our own, um, our own knowledge, our own understanding, our own opinions and our own beliefs. And, uh, you know, through the course of sharing and teachings and knowledge and truth together, we open our eyes to different possibilities and expand our own knowledge. We don't have to erase our own knowledge. We don't have to get rid of it. We just expand it, right? So, you know, what I love about this, send the shower of thy mercy and compassion on humanity. You know, let's think about how humanity is right now. And, uh, you know, I, I got a call from a friend today that I haven't talked to in a long time, dear friend of mine, Nick. And, uh, you know, we were kind of remarking about how it is that, you know, we can always pick up at any place we left off and know that we're true friends and we're always there for each other. And it doesn't matter if, you know, his religion changes or his politics changes or, you know, anything else changes. I'm always, you know, 100 percent, you know, going to be his brother, you know, and he's going to be mine. And I have, you know, a handful of friends like that in life. And, you know, you've kind of come over the last year or so to see kind of like where you know, where people stand in terms of loyalty and friendship and how they really share in mercy and compassion when it comes to each other. Because that's what it really takes right now to shower humanity in mercy and compassion is to come together and have mercy and compassion for each other. You know, we can't just put it all on God. You know, it has to has to come through us, right? So to really shower humanity with, with love and compassion, mercy and compassion, we have to be merciful for towards each other show mercy to someone that you don't understand or you don't like you know if someone's an idiot have mercy on them for being an idiot you know if um somebody is rude and you know um and just cross you know be be compassionate towards them show compassion because that magnetism and that energy that you give off of compassion towards them will reach them you know and if you do it often enough and and uh you know um you stay balanced in your your own 
mercy and compassion, then it will it will rub off on other people. It will really resonate and echo um, to where other people can feel and experience that. So um, I don't want to get too wordy or too heady about this. It's a really simple phrase. I could definitely go on and on about, you know, showering humanity with, with mercy and compassion. But I'll leave you with the phrase one more time and let you soak it in and resonate in it and uh, shower yourself with a little bit of insight from the Daily Nugget today. Send the shower of thy mercy and compassion on humanity. Thank you, my friends. Have a great night. I mean...